Hello children children today we are going to see that how to read and make a pictograph a pictograph provides information in the form of pictures it makes information easy to read first we will see how to collect and represent the information in a pictograph Let's learn about another way of data presentation called pictograph in this flower farm. A pictograph gives information with pictures or symbols. Look at the flower farm. Simi collected 5 flowers. Sanya collected 7 flowers. And Suzanne collected four flowers from the farm when we write the number of different objects in a given group we call it data the data given in the flower farm example can be represented as follows this data can also be represented by drawing pictures It is called a pictograph. We should be able to collect information from a pictograph by reading it. Every pictograph has one a title which tells us what the pictograph is about. Two pictures which tell us the given number of objects. Three labels which tell us what kind of data is shown four the key which tells us the number each picture is equal to now let us see how we can read this pictograph of the flower farm example the title flowers collected tells us the pictograph is about the number of flowers collected the labels give us the information of who collected the flowers the key tells us that each flower picture is equal to one flower hence from the pictograph we can say simi collected five flowers Sanya collected 7 flowers and Suzanne collected 4 flowers. Joy visited a farm which was full of red, yellow and green capsicums. Now let us read this pictograph. Here the title Capsicums in the farm tells us The pictograph is about the number of capsicums in the farm. The labels give us the information on the colors of the capsicums. The key or scale tells us that each capsicum picture is equal to 2 capsicums. So, let us count the number of capsicums in the farm. There are 7 red capsicums. That means 7 multiplied by 2 is equal to 14 red capsicums. Accordingly, we can find out the yellow and green capsicums. There are 12 yellow and 10 green capsicums on the farm. Hence From the pictograph we can say there are 14 red capsicums 12 yellow capsicums and 10 green capsicums on the farm From the information so obtained from the pictograph we can say how many capsicums are there in all whether red capsicums are more or yellow and so on 
Hence, we can obtain a lot of information from a pictograph. Now children, open page number 44 in your maths textbook and you have to solve this page with me. See the heading, reading pictograph. Students of grade 2 went to a bird sanctuary during spring time to observe birds. Children, here sanctuary means a nature reserve. They recorded data using the following pictures. Calculate the total number of birds seen by them. See this is the picture. Here the name of birds are given and the number of birds seen by them. We have to find out the total number of birds seen by them. Children, first we will calculate the number of birds seen by them. The first picture is of sparrows. So we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So write down here 7 in this total column. Then coils here 0, pigeons 1, 2, 3, 4. So write down here 4. Next is hens 1, 2, 3. So write here 3. And the next is parrot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write down here 5. See the first question. What do you think? students did to record the data this is the data collected by the students the students collected the total number of birds seen by them next is what did you find out from the given pictures this is the given picture and what did you find out from this we found the number of birds seen in a bird sanctuary. Next is observe the pictures carefully and answer the following questions. First children observe this picture and then we have to find out the or we have to write the answer of following questions. So here the number of which bird was maximum. Maximum means more. So which Birds are more in number. These sparrows are more in number. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 sparrows are here. So the sparrows are more in numbers. How many parrots were seen? See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right here 5. Next the number of which bird was minimum. Minimum means less. So which bird is less? Hens are less in number. So right here hens. Next how many pigeons were seen? Count here 1, 2, 3, 4 and right here 4. Which bird was not seen at all? Which bird was not seen at all? These coils was not seen at all. Children open page number 45. This page also you have to solve with me in your maths textbook. The question is the given table has only pictures and not the numbers. Pankudi infer the following information from the table and made some conclusions. Put a tick on the right conclusion and a cross on the wrong one. So here is the information collected by Pankudi. Here three subjects are Mathematics, Hindi and English and the information is represented in the form of pictures. So by observing these pictures we have to find out the conclusion or we have to write the answer of following questions. So you have to do this with me. Children, first we will find out 
the number of students in each box first see mathematics so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 students are here so write here 7 then see hindi box here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so write here 9 and then see english 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so write here 8 now we will write the answer of following questions the first one is maximum students like hindi so maximum means more so here yes it is correct maximum students like hindi so put here a tick next all students like english so in the english see the english box here eight students like english it means this conclusion is wrong because here in hindi see some students are in hindi some students are in mathematics that's why this conclusion is wrong the third one is minimum students like mathematics so this conclusion is correct because seven this is the less number compared to this nine now answer the following questions children you have to solve this with me what do you think Pankudi did Pankudi inferred the information from the table and made some conclusions next is without numbers how did Pankudi find out that the minimum number of students like mathematics see first here only given pictures so how did she find out the minimum students like mathematics with the help of pictures Pankudi found out the minimum number of students like mathematics was she correct in making all her conclusions this one two three these are her conclusions she was not correct in making all her conclusions because she concluded that all students like English but all students did not like English. How many girls like mathematics? See this mathematics column here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 right here 4. How many students are there in the class? So find out the total number of students and then write down here next is do you think the same data would be true for your class as well children you are not in the school so no need to write anything here page number 46 is for homework practice at home this picture shows the number of fish the cat caught. Here, this pictograph shows the number of fish the cat caught and by using this information, write down the answer of following questions. 